Nighttime in the Normandy port of Cateret. And after some final preparations, Camille Lecure and his crew leave the harbour and head to sea, not for a fishing trip, but to protest. Fishermen on France's northern coast are angry. They say authorities on the Channel Island of Jersey are ignoring the post-Brexit trade deal and unfairly limiting access to Jersey's waters by restricting boat licenses or adding extra rules. I'm no longer allowed to fish scallops or whelks in Jersey seas, even though I've been fishing in these waters since 2009. It happened just like that, overnight. Suddenly I received a letter saying, you're not allowed, that's it. Camille says he's lost nearly 40% of his business, some colleagues much more. As day breaks, the scale of the protest off Jersey's coast is clear. Well, we've been traveling for more than four hours. The sun has finally come up. And you can see around 60 French fishing vessels dotted all across the horizon. And over there in the distance is a British naval ship. Britain and France both sent two naval ships, a sign of the escalating row over Jersey, a UK dependency. As frustrations ran high, some French boats briefly entered the port of St. Helier prompting Jersey officials to agree to meet the fishermen, although they were unwilling to shift their position. Fishing in the Channel Islands is all about continuity. So what you did before, you can continue doing. But there's one major difference, which is of course important to us, is that Jersey now manages its waters. Camille attended the meeting. Turning his boat back to France, he was visibly disappointed. They say they can't do everything they want, that London is behind them, that London talks to Brussels before it talks to them. It doesn't look like things will change. For these fishermen, a trade that they've known all their lives seems to have changed overnight. And now they're worried for their futures, saying they're caught in the middle of a wave of UK and EU bureaucracy that has left them behind. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, The Channel Islands.